Hey everybody, this is Heather Helzer. It's pretty late and I need to get going to bed because our flight leaves in the morning, but I wanted to take a moment to go over all, my entire packing uh, for the Chilku Trail for Finch and I. We're hiking 34 miles, uh, three nights camping, four days hiking. Uh, just my son, who's 10 months old, and myself. Um, haven't weighed it because it's all out right now, but... I'm going to guess it's going to be about 50 to 55 pounds of gear. So, here we go. Alright, so here's our food. For every day, you can see this is Monday. Uh, and a basic meal set up for us is uh, breakfast is Mountain House with a Starbucks latte. A whole bunch of snack food, candy bars. So there's a Pro Bar. A Lorena Dunes um, cookies, Butterfinger Reese's, there's a chocolate bar underneath there, Big Bar. So these are all during the day snacks. Um, and then also snacks. Uh, this is a mixture of Cool Ranch and Sweet Chili Doritos. And then beef jerky is also in there. So these are all during the day snacks. And then um, a Mountain House Chili Mac with beef for dinner. Um, so basically breakfast and then hike all day, just have snacks and then dinner uh, at, at uh, our camp. I do have a ramen noodle packed for each day. We'll see if I eat it or not if we stop. And it'll depend on if Finch is fussy and wants to take a break or not. And if he's good, then we're just going to keep moving and not do lunch. And I'm just going to snack and share stuff with him and... <laughs> uh, breastfeed while hiking, really. So, uh, this is my Ursa sack. Uh, that's where all my food is going to go into. There's also going to be food lockers at each campground, uh, that I'm staying at. Um, the Ursa sack is a Kevlar, uh, bear proof bag that's super lightweight and small. It's just like a small little stuff sack. Um, so wildlife cannot break into it. Um, little bit. I don't think it's fully scent proof, but it's more scent proof than the stuff sack too. So, and then I did pack some goodies for Finch. All right. So then we have, um, my jet boil. You don't see my fuel in the pack right now cause I can't fly with it. So I'm going to have to buy it in Skagway. Um, my GoPro with selfie stick and it's also got a tripod in the base. Uh, my Canon camera, which, um, Will be on my strap so it'll be easily accessible um in this pile right here this is a ziploc bag with a couple of milk or egg cartons with um fire starter uh this is like a tent pole st uh, prep stuff and some uh personal okay. stuff um let's see sunscreen and two types of bug spray, the real good stuff, D, and then this is organic stuff for Finch. Um, if it does get real buggy, we'll be using the 100% D. Um, and then this is a first aid kit I kind of made up. We need to carry our two passports on the trail because we're going from um, Skagway, Alaska to Bennett, Canada. A headlamp because uh, it will be dark at nighttime now. A whistle, heaven forbid I need it. A uh, Leatherman knife. Uh, a sturdy pen is for filtering, not for filtering, for, um, um, well, I guess it is kind of for filtering. Sturdy pens are meant for, um, it kills all the microbes and uh, bacteria in the water. It's pretty cool, handy, lightweight tool, but uh, it doesn't clean out the floaties, so that's the one downside. So then there's this section of the room, uh, more stuff. So this is all the stuff that we're going to be wearing uh, for majority of the hike. Uh, this is Finch's little jammy set. He's going to wear and eat in. And this is my main outfit that I'll be wearing. Uh, some exophysio underwear that's pretty amazing. Your basic sports bra. Um, synthetic t-shirt. Patagonia R1. And then these are Eddie Bauer pants that are zip off into shorts too. And then just some smart wool socks. Uh, this is all the stuff, all of our 
clothes. Well, wait, that's not true. This is uh, my rain gear. Um, uh, full Gore-Tex raincoat. Um, it's um, uh, Marmot raincoat and um, REI rain pants. Um, oh, Finch's pacifier with leash, important for him. He's got an Oki wear rain gear that he will also have on him. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to rain the entire trip and be high in the low 50s and then a low in the 40s. So we are going to be wearing our layers. Um, so a couple of things we'll have in our dry sack. Um, for me, Capoline pants and top um, for when we get in the tent and I'm ready to be dry. Um, this is a complete um, bug hoodie. You can buy it on Amazon. It goes over your face. It's like literally doesn't have um, an opening at all. So I'll be wearing that. Um, Arcteric synthetic for me. Hat and gloves. For Finch, he has a Patagonia down coat. Yeah, I realize it's not as good as a synthetic, but they don't sell them in uh, without pants. Stone Stones booties, uh, a hat for him. Important that it's got a fastener on the bottom first chin to keep it on. And then these awesome cute little mittens um, for him as well. This is his jammies that he'll be sleeping in only, so um, they won't be around food or any remnants of any sort. And then this is a pair of silks for him to, um, especially if he gets really hot in this. So the thought is, is he's going to be in my Anya. So there's my Anya. This is the carrier I'll be using. Um, he'll be in it on my front. And I'll be sweaty <laughs> and warm. And then he's going to be in this and it's going to be pouring rain. So He'll probably be in this more than those fleece jammies because he's going to be pretty hot, I've got a feeling. Um, I bought him these adorable little REI uh, wool socks um, that are, yeah, they're just a little smaller. You can use, you know, I could use my extra smart wool socks and just bring them up to his crotch or, you know, have to roll them down a bit. But I really didn't want to do that, so I got him those. So I'm going with disposable diapers instead of reusable because it's raining. It's just not realistic. So it's a in this baggie there are four diapers a day, except Monday there's only three diapers and Thursday there's only three. So because uh, we are starting on Monday and ending on Monday or on Thursday, so that explains that. Uh, two extra ziplocs, large ziplocs for. Um, diapers, and then a garbage bag, heaven forbid we need it, uh, his wipes, and um, one thing that I kind of learned from my last backpacking trip is I, I just need two water bottles, um, so I'm carrying these two. Um, I had brought the camel back, and it just didn't work. It didn't work at all because... You know, when you have a baby, it's just like you have to pull it out and it just takes more time filtering. And with a sturdy pen, it just didn't work and it's just not realistic. So I'm going to bring the two water bottles. This one will be full during the day that I'll be drinking out of. This one I will strictly use at camp when I need, you know, extra water for um, dinner or extra water, um, you know, if I'm prepping for the next day. So... Yeah, uh, a pillow, a lot of people might think that's ridiculous, but um, Finch and I are co-sleeping, so this is my sleeping bag. It's a 25-degree synthetic. It's um, Mountain Hardware. Um, so we're co-sleeping. Uh, this is my, so the sleeping bags, I keep it halfway unzipped, and then I have this um, down quilt that uh, we keep on top of us and then I use the pillow because I'm sleeping on my side because he's usually like right next to me on top of me um, so the pillow kind of helps me kind of stay on my side um, and not roll over to my stomach because I'm a stomach sleeper so uh, a stuff sack for the sleeping bags and the sleeping bags will go um, in a separate dry sack which is not 
not out right now. Um, this is our tent. It's a big Agnes tent. It's a great tent. Um, trekking poles. They are a must with all of this weight. It just helps, you know, um, for having a better grounding. Um, cause it, yeah, I have a 10 month old on my front and it's, I'm not going to see my toes. So it's just really helpful. Um, and then also trying to kind of have more points of contact with the ground really. So, um, this is my sleeping pad as well. Um, it's an extra, if you can see, it's an extra long, extra wide sleeping, um, sleeping pad. Uh, I, I feel that the extra, you know, weight that I have caused from having that is worth it when I'm co-sleeping. And then I bring the Crazy Creek Canoe too. Um, it's just nice when you get to camp to be able to breastfeed, holding him in it, and to be able to take a break and have it. It's just awesome. So that clips to the outside of my pack. And this is my pack. A lot of people have been asking me, what's your setup? So here is my setup. So I have this beautiful pack. Um, it's amazing. So it's a Deuter. Um, it's a Deuter pack. It's uh, called the Air Contact 70 plus 10. There you go. Get you nice and close. You can see it. Okay, so that is my pack. It's amazing. It's really big, um, but it's really what you need for a trip like this. Um, you can't get it in most stores. You really have to order it online. You can order it through REI or directly through Deuter. Um, Deuter is actually sponsoring this trip for me and my son, and so they sent us this pack. Um, they allowed me to pick it out, which which pack I would like, and I picked out this pack, and it's it's really an amazing pack. Um, some of the things I love about it, um, obviously it's big size, but uh, the biggest feature that I like about it is the straps. Um, you're going to have to not mind that it's <laughs> light pink dyed now. Um, my athleta t-shirt on my last big hiking trip the dye from the t-shirt came off on my pack which is pretty lame um so I just really like that it's a really um good pad and it's really structured it kind of helps uh disperse the weight with all of these cinches so it's really worth it um you know the they have the light the lighter packs to me that was invaluable so uh, I also like how this pack, it actually, the frame at top goes backwards um, so that you have room so it's not like right on top of your head. So this is my Anya as well. So this is the Anya Outback. It's synthetic. Uh, it's full synthetic, uh, super breathable, and it's definitely, I think, the best uh, carrier on the market. I've owned enough carriers. I... Uh, have an Ergo, I have a Moby, I have a, a Catan, I have an Osprey backpack, I have way too many. So, and this is by far the best, so I can't say anything better about this. It's got a nice zip pocket right here so you can put stuff. Um, it's got another side one right here so you can put stuff. Um, you know, when we're traveling, there's like a, underneath here, there's a, a carrier that comes out. Um, it's built in right here and it becomes a high chair. So that's going to be amazing when we're traveling and at restaurants in rural Alaska that don't have high chairs. So it's really good. And then when it's raining, it's got this nice built in cover that's also synthetic so that my son's not going to, you know, be super hot because of the cotton, you know, and it's going to dry. So it's pretty awesome. So, all right. Well, that is everything that I have to show you. So, all right. Well, I'll give you reports after the trip. Wish me luck. Here we go. Bye.